Welcome to the Old Boar's Mini Builds, Small Cities Perfect for Detailing. In this video, I want you to see exactly what I do to set up a game. Also, I'm hoping to help beginners and vanilla players learn how to use mods. When using third party mods, it's recommended that you launch City Skylines from within your Steam app. The second precaution would be to enter the game paused, save it under a new name, just in case. City Skylines was intentionally programmed to be played at one end of two extremes. One is being a mayor, and the other is just building a city, like you want, when you want, and where you want. Actually, most people play somewhere in between those two extremes. The important thing is to find your style or protocol so that your gaming experience is the best it can be. Mods can help you find the perfect balance. Not all mods are cheats, and some can make the game run faster and use less memory. I'll explain six of those in this video. I suggest starting a new city when installing mods that make major changes to your game. I group mods into five categories. Sometimes they overlap a bit. Added functionality gives me more tools in the game, for example, the intersection marking tool. Quality of life mods, such as the 81 tiles mod, saves you time and increases your happiness because you're not laying out power lines and putting in water pipes. Enhancing visuals add more realism to the game, such as the AD Cloud Replacer. That mod allows you to put a set of moving clouds in your background. Game performance mods make your game run faster, such as the Loading Screen Revisited mod, which we'll go into shortly. Cheats and hacks, like the Remove Sickness mod, completely eliminates sickness from your game. So let's look at the mods that come with the base game. Click on Content Manager and come down to Mods. These are the mods that come with the base game. They were developed by Colossal Order for you to have more of a sandbox or a free play experience. The Unlimited Money mod is not actually a cheat. It just allows you to play in sandbox mode. I've played the vanilla game with money many times, but now I want to build my city without having to manage it. It's a lot more relaxing for an old boar like me. You also have Unlimited Oil and Ore. Those resources become depleted in your game and you'll be rebuilding those industries if you don't use it. One of my favorites is Unlock All Progression Milestones. Milestones limit you to what you can build until you get to a certain population. You know how much I love trains, and I can't use trains until a certain milestone. Now load your game, and you'll see that you've unlocked everything. You can see that I have unlimited money, and I have all my icons unlocked, which means I can put down any building that I want from the beginning. So now let's take a look at some mods in the game performance category. You've got the Harmony mod, Loading Screen Revisited, FPS Booster, Loading Order Mod 2, Compatibility Report, and Patch Loader. These six mods could be played in a totally vanilla game and really help your game perform. The top three are for performance and the bottom three are for troubleshooting. 
they also do a little bit of each. So if you'd like to use those, head over to the Steam Workshop and click subscribe on all these. You can see that additional items are required and you have to click those too. The new loading order mod reduces loading time and RAM usage. It also has a new feature I'm really excited about. Make profiles for each different city so that you can jump back into a game you built a long time ago. So now once you're in your game, you're going to get this warning and you can choose not to show it again. You also need to enable your mods and you can see that the patch loader shows a little green icon that says it might not be compatible. When you click any third party mod for the first time, you're going to get a disclaimer, basically saying that you could break your game but I'll show you how to work around that. The patch loader mod needs to restart your game and you'll want to do that. So we're going to enable that first. Restart our game. And this time I'm going to check don't show again. I've enabled all my mods. You can see that the FPS booster has a little problem as well. So now that you're back in your game, with your first mods installed and enabled, go first to the compatibility report and click the open folder icon. You can change the path of this, but you want to look for the one that opens a web page. This compatibility report is going to tell you details about the mods that have issues. One mod has a minor issue. Another mod has a remark. You'll want to read those and see if you're willing to play your game. This mod, Patch Loader, says that you need to launch your game from the Steam app, so we'll do that. These are pretty basic for beginners who want to use mods. The Harmony mod has a conflict report and you want to use the load order mod too to handle that. The FPS booster needs to have a setting adjusted so that it can run correctly. We need to disable VSync. Go to the graphics tab. Click Don't Sync and then click Apply. Now you can come into the FPS booster and put the FPS limiter right where you want it. I also like to tick the GPU cooldown. There's a guide for Load Order Mod 2 that says not to adjust those. So now that you have your performance and troubleshooting mods set up, let's click the load order tool icon. You might have to look for the icon in this folder. You can see that these are all of our mods. And here's where you can create a profile for your different cities. If you have one that's not checked, check it there. Remember not to subscribe or unsubscribe to any mods while the game is running. Save your game under a new name when you're installing mods and quit to desktop and restart your game to play. So thank you for watching the old boar play City Skylines. Take care now.